Let's make this a movement. Well, it looks like we cried out and the queen has heard us because Beyonce is now live for her final show at the Mercedes-Benz Stadium in Atlanta for the American leg of her Renaissance World Tour. And the queen has gone all out for her last show here in Atlanta. Now, you would recall that just before the second show in Atlanta, Beyonce was rumored to be performing the Missing Trio songs. Now, if you don't know what I mean by the Missing Trio songs, the songs included on this trio list are Thick, All Up In Your Mind, and Drunk In Love. And I call them Missing because she has only ever performed these songs at her first night in Stockholm, Sweden. Yeah, anyway, I digress. She was rumored to perform these songs because members of the beehives who literally arrived to the venue on time could hear her rehearsing the songs. And although Beyonce did not perform these songs on the second night, which left the fans confused, she has now fully brought them back and performed them at the last night in Atlanta. Take a look. He knows I'm a fucking problem. I told you I'm a fucking problem. Honestly, I still cannot believe that this happened and I am definitely still in shock. However, this could be one of two things. Either she heard our cries and our demands and genuinely brought back these songs or she had to bring them back to create a wholesome visual for the project she's putting together for Netflix. I am inclined to go with the latter because various signs have shown that she is specifically filming portions of her show in Atlanta for the project. First, it was the more advanced camera work by the inclusion of this new set of camera. Then, it was filming Kevin Prodigy performing his Vogue chants in a special booth. Then we have this, the inclusion of the forgotten songs. It just all really points to the fact that there is a visual story that is being told and I sure cannot wait to see how it all turns out in the documentary visuals. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Success and today being the last show of Beyonce in Atlanta, I will be bringing you all the juicy tea and details you might have missed from her last show. You might want to grab a snack for this one because this one is about to get down. Unique. There is a new opening outfit on the block and this one is surely dazzling. Beyonce opened her third and final show at the Mercedes-Benz Stadium in Atlanta in a custom Mundos crystal encrusted orbit gown by Gaurav Gupta from his Paris Couture Week Autumn Winter 2024 collection. And she has paired this with silver sandal heels and jewelry from Tiffany & Co. 
overall this look definitely shines bright like a diamond and we sure cannot wait to see what she turns up with in the next city take a look So, in case you don't know the origin of this story, I'll bring you up to speed. Now, the question of support to Lizzo was first presented to us at Beyonce's show in Boston, where she omitted to call out Lizzo's name on her appreciation catalogue during the Break My Soul interlude. Take a look. Now, of course, this felt like obvious shade to Lizzo as many speculated that Beyonce was trying to distance herself from Lizzo in light of Lizzo's current controversies involving the mistreatment of her dancers and all of that. However, Beyonce was quick to nip that shit in the bud by re-adding Lizzo's name to her appreciation catalog at her show in DC. Take a look. Now, with the controversy doubling down on Lizzo's career, like her being dropped from the Super Bowl consideration and all of that, Beyonce has once again showed her support by doubling down on her appreciation for Lizzo. She's making it known that she indeed loves Lizzo and all of that. Take a look. Pack it up Queen B cause Blue Ivy is back 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 again on stage in Atlanta for the final show to show us how an iconic dance break is truly done. And guess what? It's giving what it is supposed to give and some more. Let's not forget she's doing this in high heels and eating it all up at the same time. Overall, this performance is once again definitely one for the books and we cannot wait to have her tear up more stages in future locations. Take a look. At this point, I feel like because we've tasted the victory of a total mute at the first show in Atlanta where Beyonce literally crowned them the winner, it's literally just so hard to settle for anything less. So I'm guessing the excitement was definitely in the air because the people at the last show were definitely not on their Zoom as they yet again flopped the mute challenge. We could still literally hear people screaming and hollering when the queen demanded for a total mute. Take a look. As it stands now, Atlanta Day 1 still holds the crown for the best meals on the tour overall and we can just hope that the next city will do us proud by snatching that crown and being on a total mute when the queen bee demands it. No screaming, no finishing the lyrics, no hollering, none of that. Unique. 
Now, apart from the opening look, Beyonce has once again served us some fashion and guess what? We're about to get into it. Now, the only look she served will be this look that she uses to open coffees and do songs like Energy and it is this custom gold silver metallic number that is very broken glass like and she has paired this with, you know, matching gloves and matching thigh high boots with a futuristic shade i think this look overall is a 10 over 10 i love it i love how, how she moves in it and yeah it's just really cute well we love ourselves a considerate queen that can also drag us by our edges beyonce while closing out the show was really feeling her goofy element while she told us that yeah we finally got the thick that we were clamoring for well oh well yes we did yes we did yes we did ma'am take a look all right guys we've come to the ending of today's video and in today's video i gave you a quick recap of everything that happened and everything you might have missed from beyonce's last show in atlanta if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to give it a big fat thumbs up it helps me a lot and yeah i would definitely be seeing you guys in the next city but for now it is bye au revoir